ChatGPT recently announced a new GPT store where you can browse and use specific custom GPTs for specific tasks. If we explore the GPTs, you can see you can find GPTs based on writing, productivity, and in our case, creating videos. Now, NVIDIA AI created their own custom GPT, and it's called Video Maker. You can see that there's Video Maker by NVIDIA AI. So you can see here there are four different prompts to get started. You can attach script, for example, or you can just type in a message to get started. After experimenting a bit, I found the best way is to start by creating a script. So let's click on this. First, I just want to set expectations on what type of videos it can produce. The videos that it can produce can include stock video clips, a narrator, some transitions, and some music as well. And the video clips that it can use are stock videos. Of course, you can add and upload your own media later on. So because our channel is all about filmmaking and video editing, let's stick to that topic. I'd like to make a short 60 second video with quick tips on how to set up a three point lighting system for filming a subject on camera. The target audience is filmmakers and the tone should be funny and cheeky. Notice that I'm very specific about the length and what it's about and the target audience. Let's send it. So now you can see it generating our script for us and you can see that there's the voiceover, there's a scene, for example, a fun animation showing a basic setup of camera. I'm not sure how well in video AI will generate this animation, but we will see. You can also see it's a little bit cheeky and funny. So it says, hey, future Spielbergs, ready to transform your subject from meh to marvelous with lighting. And of course, it's technically correct. Also, it talks about the key light, the fill light, and the backlighting as well. So of course, we can ask it to make edits to the script now, or we can just say, yes, let's make a video. And then it goes to start the action. Then confirm. And now we can click here to watch the video inside of NVIDIA AI. And it'll open up a new tab here. And if you're not logged into your account, you can create a free account. I'm already logged in. And you'll notice that when we watch this, there are watermarks on the stock footage and you do need to upgrade to remove those, which you will see in just a moment. So now it's starting to generate. And what I love about this is that they have the little logo here, the little fish projecting the generation. And I think that's just so cute. So this will take just a few minutes. In the meantime, let's take a water break. So of course we can give more commands to edit this video and manually edit the video, but first let's see what it generated. Hey, future Spielbergs, ready to transform your subject from May to marvelous with lighting? Let's light speed through the magic of three-point lighting. So just quickly, we saw a title card, we saw the stock video clip that has to do with lighting, but I wasn't sold on that meh pronunciation, but I think we can fix that by choosing a different accent or giving a command later on. I also like that it chose the stock video clip that was like light speed through the magic of lighting. So let's keep watching to see. Our main star, the key light. This one's like your movie's lead actor. So this stock image that it chose, it was trying to choose an actor, but the way that it was cropped on screen doesn't really work. So we're going to have to either find a different shot here or customize it later on. This one's like your movie's lead actor. Can't do without it. Position it at a 45 degree angle. Just right, not too Harvey Dent and not too Phantom of the Opera. Uh oh, shadows, bring in the fill light. The sidekick that never gets the girl but saves the day. Aim it from the opposite side to soften those villainous shadows, but keep it dimmer than the key light. We're making a film, not an interrogation room. Feeling dramatic? Wait, the back light enters for that heroic halo effect. Pop it behind and above your subject. Bam, now they're ready for their superhero moment. So essentially what AI did was create a rough cut of shots that would match the script. Now, not all of them are perfect, a little bit questionable. I'd probably want to replace those later on. But the first thing that comes to mind that I want to change that I forgot to tell it to do is to change it to a vertical aspect ratio. So let's go down here and let's type in change to vertical aspect ratio and click generate. And just like that, it's updated. Let's play it back. Hey, future Spielbergs. And another thing, we want to have captions, right? So let's go ahead and change this to add karaoke word by word animating captions. Generate. I know that I've reviewed a lot of captioning tools on this channel, but if the future is just typing in add captions, that would be ideal. And this is exactly what it's doing because it just saves you a ton of time. All right, let's see how the captions look. Hey, future Spielbergs, ready to transform your subject from May to marvelous with lighting? Nice, it looks good. I do want to bring it up a little bit higher, the captions. So I'm going to say, move the captions higher in the frame. 
It's interesting because as I'm typing these requests, it's almost like I'm sending feedback to a video editor, but instead of a video editor, it's just AI, which is just interesting. So if you're familiar with giving feedback, it kind of feels like that, except the changes occur instantaneously. The reason why I'm moving the captions up higher is because in social media, the UI can sometimes cut off part of the captions in the frame. So I just want to move it up just slightly. And after it's done, it gives you a recap of what it did. So it said change subtitle vertical position, which is very useful. You can also do other things like change the accent of the voiceover to, for example, British male or Australian female, for example. So let's change the narrator here to an Australian male accent and generate. Hey, future Spielbergs, ready to transform your subject from May to marvelous with lighting? Kind of sounds like Chris Hemsworth. And one thing I notice is that the script has quotations around it, which I don't want, but you can't leave commands to edit that text. So what we need to do is go into edit. And here you can edit the media, so you can replace the media, or you can go to edit script. And in this case, I need to go in and I need to remove these quotations around the script because from the script it kept those in which we don't want. So I'll quickly just do that. Another thing that you can do is regenerate the entire video again by clicking on regenerate and this will produce an entirely new video based on the script because the beauty of AI generation is that it's never the same each time you generate. One thing I notice is that when you do update the script it does take some time to regenerate. I'm hoping that that will be faster in the future. But now it is ready and you can see that those quotations are gone. Hey, future Spielbergs. So now let's replace some of the media. So go to edit again. So in terms of replacing media, when you select on one that you want to replace, for example, this stock video clip of this main lead actor here, it highlights the portion of the voiceover that is being said at this moment. This one's like your movie's lead actor, can't go without it. This is more of a director, so I'm going to search for actor. Of course, you can upload your own media. Let's say you have some clips that you've already filmed that you wanna use here. You can just upload media by clicking on this. Let's replace it with this one because it more depicts like a film set, which is more on topic. Select this and click apply changes. Let's play this portion back. This one's like your movie's lead actor. So for this one, let's go ahead and click edit again. So you can go through and kind of preview where the video is going to be at. For example, for this shot, if you want it to be slightly over to the right, you can go ahead and make this 0.6 and it will move it more over towards the right. So I can go through all of these shots to make sure they're in the right framing just by clicking on the ellipsis and shifting over the center point. I do wish this was a little bit more user-friendly so I could just click on the video clip and move it to the left or to the right because having to enter it in manually is a little bit more cumbersome than what you would normally do when you're actually editing the video. All right, so I'm going to upload a few of my own stock video clips here. And once it's done uploading, I'm going to select the clip that I want to replace and select replace on the new clip that I want. And once I'm done replacing, I can click apply changes. So because I have a plus account, I can remove the watermarks and the AI specific branding and export at 1080p. So let's go ahead and click on continue. All right, now let's take a look at the final version. Hey, future Spielbergs, ready to transform your subject from May to marvelous with lighting? Let's light speed through the magic of three point lighting. First up, our main star, the key light. This one's like your movie's lead actor can't do without it. Position it at a 45 degree angle. Just right. Not too Harvey Dent. And not too Phantom of the Opera. Uh oh, shadows. Bring in the fill light. The sidekick that never gets the girl but saves the day. Aim it from the opposite side to soften those villainous shadows. But keep it dimmer than the key light. We're making a film, not an interrogation room. Feeling dramatic? Wait. The backlight enters for that heroic halo effect. Pop it behind and above your subject. Bam! Now they're ready for their superhero moment. And there you have it. Three-point lighting that'll make even your pet rock look cinematic. 60 seconds up. Go light up your scene like the filmmaking wizard you are. Remember, it's not just about the lights. It's how you use them. Now, action. So while you are limited to stock footage when it's building your video, you can upload your own footage to use in its place. And one thing I would like to see, especially since I produce my own content with my own image and voice, is to be able to have a voice clone. And there's a few other things I would like to see, such as dragging and dropping your media to replace it to make it more simple, having some more 
caption style options to choose from so it can prompt you with what colors you want. Right now, would I use this tool to you know, upload videos to my Instagram? Probably not because with my content, I usually am in the video with my own voice. But if you run a faceless channel and you just wanna be able to upload topical style videos, I can see this coming in a lot of handy. If you wanna learn about more voice cloning or AI avatar cloning, you can click right over here and you can click over here to join my Discord. That's all for today's video. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye.